welcome all today we are going to solve a prohibited assignment problem using the regular hungarian method to begin with to solve this type of problem especially for a minimization problem we have to assume a positive infinity as the cost for the prohibited position whereas for the maximization maximization problem we have to assume negative infinity as profit for the prohibited position and then go ahead using the hungarian method to solve the assignment problem now let us take an example here we have a problem which says consider a problem of assigning four clerks to four tasks the time which is given in hours required to complete the task is given in this matrix below clerk 2 cannot be assigned to the task a and clerk 3 cannot be assigned to task b we have to find the optimum assignment schedule now as you can see this is a minimization problem so we are going to replace this hyphens with a positive infinity value so let us write this assignment matrix again with the infinities so i have a b c and d which is my four tasks and there are four clerks and if you look at the problem it is a balanced problem so we need not make any changes to the matrix dimension we'll write down the values 6 and here as you know clerk 2 cannot be assigned to a so i am going to put an infinity okay 8 7 4 again infinity 8 3 6 6 and 2 okay so this is my new matrix where i have put infinity in the position where the assignment is prohibited okay let us follow the hungarian method now and solve this problem further to do that i'll write the first step step number 1 row subtraction okay if you look at the first row the minimum value is 4 okay so i'll subtract 4 from all of these values in that row let us put the matrix form a b c d 1 2 3 and 4 okay so we have 4 Minus four will give me zero. Seven minus four that gives me three, four and two. Okay. For the next one, the minimum value is four here again. So let us do the subtraction. Now infinity minus four will give me infinity again. So there is no change here. So this remains as it is. Eight minus four gives me four. this gives me 3 add a zero here similarly below down 3 is the minimum value 3 minus 3 gives me 0 if you subtract 3 from infinity no change 8 minus 3 will give me 5 3 minus 3 will give me 0 and the last one here we have 2 as the minimum value so 6 minus 2 gives me 4 4 2 and a uh, zero okay if you look at the problem here we have the first column which is having a zero 
okay so when we do the column reduction in step number 2 there won't be any change in the first column so let us do the subtraction column subtraction and get the new reduced matrix e b c and d 1 2 3 4 the first column remains as it is because there is no change minimum value is 0 so the subtraction will hardly matter in the second column the minimum value is 3 here so 3 minus 3 will give me 0 4 minus 3 will give me 1 no change for infinity and 4 minus 3 will give me 1 again in the next column 2 is the minimum let's do the subtraction 4 minus 2 gives me 2 here 1 3 0 and because the minimum value in the last column is 0 there won't be any change even if we do the subtraction so my column remains unchanged got it the next step is to cover the zeros using minimum lines okay and let us see what we can do here if you look at the matrix we have three zeros the maximum zeros three which can be covered using a single line so i'll just write down this matrix and then we are going to draw the lines to cover the zeros 0 0 2 2 infinity 1 1 0 0 infinity 3 0 0 0 1 and 4 okay so the first line will come here because there are three zeros i can cover it using one line we have two here two here i can cover it from here now there are two zeros remaining but which is in two different rows and different columns so i can just cover it like this count the number of lines which is required to cover all the zeros and it is four one two three four and the dimension of the matrix is also four by four so the value of n which is four is equal to the number of lines used to cover the zeros so we have arrived at the optimum solution and because it is the optimum solution we will go ahead and do the assignment to do the assignment i will just rewrite this matrix again so next step step number four a b c and d 1, 2, 3 and 4, the values were 0, 3, 4 and 2, then infinity, okay and sorry this is the other values, the values were 0, then 0 and 2 2 0 0 2 2 infinity 1 1 and a 0 was there okay the third column had a 0 infinity then 3 and a 0 we had a 0 here then there was a value 4 1 and a 0 let us check it out yes fine and to do the assignment as we know we have to search for a single zero in a row or a column so we have two zeros here one zero is here so i can do the assignment here and cancel the other zeros in this column in this one again we have a single zero i'll do the assignment here okay and cancel this out 
now in the column we have a single zero in B so this goes here and this is my final assignment so clerks the tasks okay and the time required let us write it down clerk one two three four so one will be assigned task b two will be assigned task d three will be assigned task a and four will be assigned task c now what are the values one will go to b so the original value was seven as for two it is d the original value is four hours for three it is a which is three hours and for four it is c which is four hours again so the total time taken total time taken would be 18 hours okay and that is my solution for this assignment problem please remember